the, um, the change management provider. Um, really quickly on, so let me do a get on this new one. I'm going to do a quick um, example of updating a resource before I move on. Um, time's getting a little bit of an issue. So if I if I do a get on this, let me get rid of the information here, and I'm going to do a get. So I get back that same resource. If I wanted to do an update, um, one of the principles of OSLC is that I should be able to do a get and take all of that content from the get and turn around and do a put on it with whatever I want to modify. So I don't need to worry about which of these fields uh, you know, might be read only, like the, the creation time um, timestamp is surely a you know a read only type field. I'm not allowed to modify that, but I, I'm guaranteed that I can do a get on a um, uh, an OSLC artifact and be able to turn around and do a put with updating fields that I'm allowed to actually modify um, and just provide the rest of the content as is from the get. So I'm going to do a quick example of that. Um, let me get the raw. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to change my um, HTTP verb to a put. I'm going to paste in that content. Let me, sorry, this field's pretty cramped. I'm just going to scroll up a little bit and find the title. There's the title. So I'm just going to say, change my title to updated demo defect. Um, the other thing that OSLC provides is the way to detect if you know multiple people, if, if you're updating the right copy of the resource, to make sure that you have the latest version of it. And the way that um, that's done in OSLC uses a, a standard web um, protocol or pattern, if you will, um, the e-tag header. So when we do a get on a resource, we get an e-tag header that is basically a unique identifier for you know perhaps a particular version of this artifact or for. It, what we're most interested in is it's the version we have. So this e-tag identifies um, the change request that we did a get on. And so the way that we can guarantee that we're updating the latest copy of it is we can add an additional header to the put request called if match and put in that e-tag value. So as long as the um, as long as the artifact hasn't been changed since we got it and generated a new e-tag, then this uh, this if match header will let us uh, update it. So if I send a request, I get back a 200 response. And if I look at the title, it's my updated demo defect title. So my put was successful. If I try to do a put again, without so you can see that the e tag is now changed. There's a new a new value uh, for the e tag. If I keep my e tag how it was and I try to do a, a put request, I get back a 412 precondition failed, and uh, I get back an OSLC error message that says you don't have the latest version. So that's that's how um, OSLC can help you avoid uh, issues with um, you know not updating the latest version uh, synchronization issues. Okay, that's what I had for the the, the CRUD or the the query and create and update section of this. I'm going to pause for a second. If there's any questions, go ahead.